Welcome to part 2 of My Vinyl Designer using your RoboMaster Pro tutorial. In our last video, we downloaded the Alphabet 2 design from MyVinylDesigner.com and saved our GSD file into a new folder named My Vinyl Designs. In this tutorial, we will open our GSD file in RoboMaster Pro and customize the design to fit our project. With the RoboMaster Pro software open, go to File, then left-click on Open, or simply left-click on the Open Folder icon. An open dialog box will appear. We want to open our Alphabet 2 file. Our Alphabet 2 file is already open, however, we may need to search for it. Left-click on Alphabet 2, left-click on Desktop. Left double click on My Vinyl Designs, Files, and Alphabet 2. For today's example, we will be using the file 2H. Scroll down and left double click on 2H. To customize our design, we will review size, cut area, text, and rotation. Changing the size can be done by selecting the design area by left-clicking and then dragging the selection box over the design. We can enlarge or reduce the size by left-clicking on and adjusting the sides. Or we can get an exact size by right-clicking left-clicking on Position Settings, and here we see we have about a 2 inch by 2 inch design. We could left-click and hold the aspect ratio, however today we will be using a picture frame and we need an exact size, so we will keep the hold aspect ratio box unchecked. We will delete the width and enter in six and a half inches. We will delete the height and enter four and a half inches. Left click on OK. When an area is selected and the mouse becomes a picture of a hand, you can left click and drag your selection where you want it. We find that our image is outside of the red cut area lines. Move your cursor over the selected image and drag. I want the H section to fill up more of the blank space near the bottom. Let's select that area and resize it. First, left click outside of the design. Left click and select the area and adjust the sides by left clicking and dragging on the box or arrows. We could move it with the hand, however, for more fine movement, we can use our arrow keys on the keyboard. Left click outside of the project area. We are ready to go ahead and add text. To add text, left click on the word text on the toolbar to the left. A text settings box will open. Choose your font, left click, type your phrase. Today we will be using Hunsaker. Keep the outline box checked. Left click on OK. Left click to place it. With Hunsaker selected, let's rotate it so Hunsaker stands on its end. Right click on Hunsaker. Left click on Position Settings. Set the angle of rotation at 270 degrees. Left click on OK. Go ahead and left click on Hunsaker, drag and move it to fit the H. We'll adjust the sides by left clicking.
we are ready to cut our vinyl design. Make sure that your paper is loaded into your plotter or cutter. Left click on File and left click on Cut. Today I am using a GraphTech CE5060. Your plotter or cutter may be different. This portion may vary depending on what plotter or cutter you are using. Left click on OK and left click on Cut. After your vinyl has been cut, follow the steps of weeding and placing transfer tape and then simply put the vinyl design onto your 5x7 picture frame. It didn't take long to make a picture-perfect vinyl project.